And here we go, folks, with our next round match. Charlie Evans and Akira Yamashita. Charlie Evans defeated Tori Crawford in the first round. It's the first match of the second round. Of course, these two got a little bit of a, more of a reprieve than either Candice LeRae or Christine Buckley. Kira defeated Miss Maria to get here. And I feel like we definitely given Charlie's record. I feel like we can't well, we can't uh, discount her out to any capacity to pull off another victory here, but we'll wait and see. What happens as the match will be underway here in mere moments. So here we go, first, second round match. Evans and Yamashita. Charlie being sent into the corner, top kick by Yamashita. Now in the opposite corner, except Charlie able to. Oh no, wait a minute, Yamashita going for that Tiger Faint kick again. Around the wing post. And Yamashita sending the top rope, looking for, not for the sunset, but Frog Splash instead. And Charlie Evans cover here. There's Yamashita, two count. And of course, yet still to come. Besides the finals of the Girls Grand Prix, it's the 2 KCW Heavyweight Championship match between Devin Andrews and Eric Anderson, taken down by Charlie. And Charlie's still feeding off the momentum from the crowd here in Binghamton. Come back here by Charlie. Beautiful drop kick. And Mike Charlie in a spine buster. Rolling into the cover. And Yamashita gets the kick out. Charlie had to hit a low angle super kick. Or a super duper kick, rather. To put away Tori Crawford. And now she's going because she knows that he doesn't have to go for the height as much. Here comes a super duper kick to Kira Yamashita. Cover here by Evans. And Charlie moves on for the next round, and she's either going to face Candice O'Reilly or Christine Buckley. And we won't have to wait very long to find out who's going to be facing Charlie Evans, because that match is going to be coming up next here as soon as we get a look at the replays. for Yamashita's run here in the Ghost Grand Prix is a super duper kick. And unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to Akira Yamashita in the Ghost Grand Prix. Great effort by Yamashita. And then folks, coming up next, Christine Buckley and Candice LeRae. the Ireland native trained who grew up in the same town as Becky Lynch defeated Janet Jordan in her first round match to get to this point a rather short match so I guess that this that for right now it's going to benefit her again she had a quick match a quick tap out victory over Janet Jordan Candice LeRae put on a hell of a match 
against Tia Green in our opening in our opening round. So for right now, I would say that Christine is in a better position to move on to face Charlie Evans than Candice LeRae would be able to win to see if that's going to be true or not. Candice LeRae getting the short end of the stick here, not a whole lot of recovery time between her first round match and this. I wouldn't expect anything less from Candice LeRae. So here we go with our second quarterfinal matchup. Christine Buckley and Candice LeRae steers away hands from Buckley, staggering LeRae into the arm drag. And LeRae summoned Buckley into the corner of spinning, flying forearm. And Candice has to be aware of the buck shot. And modified. Modified disarm her from Becky Lynch. Outside right kick from LeRae. Rolls her up into a cover. Candace nearly got the win there. Overhand right by LeRae. Buckley sending Candace into the corner. Final four on of her own. Now into the stretch here. Say Buckley may not be looking for a submission, but just enough to wear down the lower back of Candice LeRae. Now Buckley just dumping Candice up and over the top rope. And stiff up and cut there from Buckley. Top, and Candace able to win that exchange there, but Buckley arm trap into a soup. To a slam there. And Christine may have been looking for it again, but Candace able to slide out the back. And these two women are just battling it out here outside the ring. Into the ring post goes the way. Back inside the ring we go. We see Buckley maybe looking to put his match away, looking for the buckshot here. Going right into the buckshot on Candice LeRae. Is LeRae gonna tap out here? I mean, I would hope not. She's able to escape, but again with her husband being Johnny Wrestling. And she would know how to get out of an armbar like that. the face of Buckley. And now Kim is looking for a lion salt to Buckley. And what's got Candace got in mind here? And we won't know back up is going to put a stop to it right quick. And it's now sending Buckley into the opposite corner. Done by the way. To a different corner, LeRae. Setting up Buckley up on the top turnbuckle. What's, what's Candace looking for here? Candace looking for a straight neck breaker off the top rope. Cover here. 
It's good enough to put away Buckley, it is. Candice LeRae moves on to essentially the finals of the Grand Prix. But then you still gotta face Dizzy Jet by the end of the night, so. Take it what you will, but now Candice LeRae has to face Charlie Evans. Who well, I'm being told right now this match is gonna happen. Like literally here in mere moments, Charlie's gonna be making her entrance yet again. So again, very little recovery time for Candice LeRae here. As Candace gets to celebrate, Charlie's gonna make her way out. Fox, here comes Charlie. And this will be the semi-finals of the Grand Prix. Because of course the finals is for the winner's title against Dizzy Jet. So it's crunch time for both Evans and LeRae. Referee making sure both women are ready to go, and so are we. The semifinals, the Grills Grand Prix underway, LeRae and Evans. I shouldn't say I should be surprised that Charlie Evans is still in this, but I, I'll be honest, I, I am. Especially against somebody like Candice LeRae. to prove all the doubters wrong and I certainly am one of them. Charlie still immediately going after Candice LeRae here. There's a little time to LeRae sweeping the leg. Now these two just trading blows back and forth and now LeRae, a series of forearms going after Charlie Evans in the drop kick. And now LeRae with the lion saw. The Charlie Evans cover. And that's going to do it. Candice LeRae will be facing Dizzy Jet for the TKCW women's title in the finals of the Girls Grand Prix. What a hell of a comeback for Candice LeRae here. Congratulations to Kenneth LeRae. This is wrestling. We're coming up next, folks, to KCW Heavyweight Title. And ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our co-main event. Devin Andrews versus Eric Anderson for the 2KCW Heavyweight Title. Andrews made his intentions clear after the main event of Adrenaline. Assaulting both Reed Carter and Eric Anderson. Eric Anderson, a fighting champion, willing to take on any and all comers. But in the back of Anderson's mind, last week in a loss to Ultimate Death. Got to be playing a role in his confidence to retain the title here against Devin Andrews. Essentially put death in number one contender spot by my estimation. I would say that this is probably the biggest test for Devin Andrews in his career to try and win the 2KCW heavyweight title. Again, a title that's been held by Sammy Callahan, Mr. Brody Lee. Albeit, again, in his own right, Leroy Punch Beef, and assistant head coach, the hybrid Sean Carr. And Eric Anderson. Retain the title here against Devin Andrews. Like a 
wait and find out here, folks. And that's what it's all about here. 2KCW heavyweight title. On the line. and Eric Anderson. Again, Andrews making it clear right from the get-go that he has a short-term contract here and he wants to make the best of it by becoming a champion. Anderson didn't take that very lightly as the champion. Busting crab here by Andrews. Lets him up. Obviously with the rope break. And Andrews now just stalking Anderson here. Andrews looking to fly. The rolling senton through the ropes. This match is just getting started in the crowd here in Bennington Stranding. This is awesome and I cannot agree more. Gets introduced into the ring apron. Drawn across body by Anderson. Referee count of five. Anderson knows he can't win the title on a count out. Anderson with an elbow into the abdomen, dumping in it. Dumping Andrews up and over the top rope, and Andrews immediately back up on his feet. Almost beside himself that he got dumped out of the ring, swinging neck breaker by Andrews. A drop kick, collision. Almost like a car accident out there. Nobody got the best of anything. And Andrews in control of Anderson. At least for the moment. And now an overhead belly to belly from the champion. Take it down, Andrews. And then referees count on a count of seven. Andrews knows he's got to get back in the ring or at least inside to reset the count. And that's what, exactly what he's doing. Resetting the count and sending Anderson back inside the ring. Also worth noting again, even before, obviously before we got to this point that Andrews took a steel cage match loss. The former champion, Eli Punch Beef. And that was kissed the canvas from Devin Andrews. Signature maneuvers of David Andrews again there. That was the kiss to canvas. And he sends Anderson DDT head first into the apron. Two. Three. Control of the head. I don't know why he keeps bringing him back into this corner, but seems to be a favorite spot of Andrews. For recount of five. These two are just brawling outside the ring right now. Anderson brings Andrews back inside. And Anderson not letting him up. And now he goes with a sleeper slam cover here by Anderson to retain the title. We only have one count from Andrews. Anderson, the gut wrench suplex. 
for Devin Andrews. Right. Anderson going to the top row, which can only mean one thing. He's looking for the Valkyrie strike, but Andrews gets back up on his feet. Needs a double axe handle instead from the champion. Maybe quick on your feet there. No pun intended from Anderson to change up your game, expecting to hit the Valkyrie strike and go for something completely different. Andrews. Setting up Anderson in the corner. There's the fist of punishment. But Devin Andrews busting it open. Anderson falls up real quick off the blackout. The blackout by Devin Andrews. Into the cover. Is this going to be enough to win the title? And it is Devin Andrews. Is the new. 2KCW Heavyweight Champion. There we see the guest of canvas. We saw the Dragon Sleeper slam there from Anderson. Everybody hitting their best, their greatest hits in this matchup, but it was a beautiful combination of the Fist of punishment to the blackout by Devin Andrews. In quick succession as well. Kurt Andrews may have lost the GAW Academy Championship to Flyboy. But Devin is now the one holding the gold for the Andrews family. Congratulations to Devin and to Devin Andrews as the new 2KCW champion. And again, next man in line would be Ultimate Death, but I don't even know if Death could even beat Devin Andrews at this point. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is the finals of the Girls Grand Prix. Candice LeRae and Dizzy Jet for the women's title. Ladies and gentlemen, history is about to be made here. As always in the girls' Grand Prix, this is going to be for the inaugural 2KCW Women's Championship. Huge surprise return for Candice LeRae. I guess you could say she is the girls' Grand Prix winner. But now she's got to face the undefeated, I repeat, undefeated. Dizzy Jack. Dizzy has defeated everybody here in 2KCW and then some. She's even defeated Beth Phoenix in her hometown of Elmira for a 2KCW, 2KCW a thon. Which, of course, you can watch that show in full on our YouTube channel. But you would know that because that's where you're watching it right now. So once you're done here, go ahead and check that match out. That was absolutely astounding. Is he wearing some new merch on her way to the ring here? Is he feeling confident? But and I pose this question to myself earlier that Dizzy has, we haven't seen Dizzy in the ring in quite some time, so is she even I mean, I'm not doubting her in the slightest, but is she even ready to for a match? I mean, yes she's got a bye to the finals because she's undefeated, but she, we haven't seen her compete in quite some time, so is she have some ring rust left? I don't know Oh, 
we're about to find out here for the Grand Prix final winner. The Grand Prix winner, Candice LeRae. Daisy Jones snaps suplex over into the cover. By the way, not even a one count. Over an elbow tie up into the corner. See if we get a clean break here. Between both competitors, we do. Dizzy was almost a little hesitant to come out of the car, focusing on the arm. We're looking for a kick. Dizzy able to counter with Dragon Screw takedown. Judd's got a bit of a chip on her shoulder again. It's the only member of the roster that's been undefeated so far. Hit and tossed. By Dizzy Jet. Now into the side headlock there. A bit of a scarf hold from Jet. Turned into a sitting headlock from LeRae. Cover kick out by the way. Now the way to the world, Hurricane Rana. Take down the jet. And it's low right looking for the line, so that's how she. Pin Charlie Evans to get this point. Only a one count from Jet. Since he had a whole, had the entire match, the entire show to prepare for this matchup, no matter who it be. Dizzy just taunting now to Lorraine into the corner, laying down strikes. To an uppercut by Jet, and she follows it up real pretty. She follows it up real quick there with a dish track. The kid is the way to win the title. Two. Ray kicks out of the dish track. the ropes and now Dizzy returning the favor. That will by Jet. Jet into the cover on the way. And a one count. So now get the job done here against Mrs. Rustling. Candace off that rush and another beautiful takedown. And Candace LeRae. And then LeRae locking in immediately. The Gargano escape. The patented family. Gargano escape here on Dizzy Jet. Is LeRae going to get the win and become the new champion? The first ever champion? No. She let go, but now rolls into the cover. Then taps and then she's gonna net no. Dizzy Jet kicks out of the putting attempt after the Gargano escape. Now LeRae, series of forearms into a drop kick. And a build momentum here. So we like code breaker, code breaker into the cover two. The winner that was a road break referee. Not in the best position. 
to make sure that Dizzy's any part of Dizzy Jet was under the bottom rope. Slammed there by Jet into a flying elbow drop. And now Jet going for the airplane spin. We haven't seen her utilize this in some of her matches in quite some time. Around and around and around we go. We're just dumping LeRae onto the corner, covered here by Jet to win the title here too. No, LeRae gets the kick out. Track yet again, look out, ref, here we go. Another death track to Candice LeRae, cover here. Enough, yes, Dizzy Jack is still undefeated. And your inaugural 2KCW Women's Champion. Congratulations to Dizzy Jack for making history yet again. Now these two shaking hands, great sign of, strong sign of respect between these two ladies. Everybody, let's get it for us. Have a good night.